Is this Texas beef? Yes, sir, it is. Hell right. Like Angus Choice. Good. Good morning, everybody. And this is what Amarillo looks like from the window. It looks pretty much like I'd expect, like a highway town. The rest of it kind of looks like desert and stuff, so. Today we're gonna to eat the Big Texan, the world's most famous food challenge. A food challenge has literally been advertised on those great big billboards on the highway. My first time seeing the freaking key to the hotel, it literally is also advertising the Big Texan and apparently free limo service. Like, Amarillo is literally just all revolving around this Big Texan. I'm outside the world famous Big Texan. This is the world's most famous food challenge. It is a 72 ounce steak. If you eat the steak, you get it for free. And if you do not, you pay $72. Along with the 72 ounce steak, which is 4.4 pounds, you have to consume a baked potato, a dinner roll, three cocktail shrimp or battered shrimp, and a salad. So we're gonna have one hour to do this. I hope we can do it. Again, this is literally the world's most famous food challenge. Just what Amarillo, this whole town, is known for. This is the Big Texan. And today, we're gonna have ourselves some damn good steak. Some Texas beef. So let's get going. All right, so we got the Big Texan out. It's been over 120,000 unsuccessful attempts and over 9,000 successful attempts. So about an 8% success rate. The first day they opened back up here after the closure, they had over 22 people try it and only one beat it that day. So. It looks really good. We have our official judge with us here, so we know it's gonna be official. We know it's going good. We got our timers on the wall. And it all starts after we take our first bite and confirm that it's cooked the way we want it to be. This is so excited. Here with my good friend, Miss Reyna. Both got our cowboy hats on, Lone Star State, Texas. We're up here on this stage. It's such a cool experience. When you're in Texas, you gotta do the big Texas. So I'm so excited. We're waking up to smell the freedom today. Let's do this. So before we start this challenge, we can actually test it out to see if it's like cooked the way we want it, which is actually super awesome. That's really nice. Yeah. So I cut a small piece and try it. So yeah, you gotta make sure it's cooked the way you want. Looks pretty dang good. Looks pretty hot. You good? Yeah. Alrighty, folks. Three, two, one, go. Let's start. Time just started. All right, Big Texan, let me get your attention on stage, please. I got Joel coming all the way from Canada, and I have Raina coming all the way from California, saying they have a big Texan size appetite. 54 and a half pounds of Texas top sirloin steak, three fried shrimp, a roll, a baked potato, and a salad. They have one hour to do the job, folks. Everybody's cheer them all, get going! Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, where today we're at the Big Texan. And I tell you what, I am so damn excited to finally bring you this video, and this was an absolutely great experience. I'm going to tell you that straight off the bat. So what I absolutely loved about it is this place, like the restaurant, the Big Texan, nobody ever talks about how cool this place is. So that's actually how I'm going to start this off. So seriously, one of the most unique restaurants I have been to. The whole place, they have a whole shooting gallery in there. The place, as you'll see at the end of the video, is dressed up like it came straight out of a Western. Not only are they advertising this place on the highway, not only are they advertising their steak challenge everywhere possible, but these people are like, they seem like legit Texans. Like, I don't want to stereotype, but everybody has cowboy hats on. Everybody, we're talking tight Wrangler jeans. We're talking big belt buckles, and I'm not even just talking the staff. I'm talking the patrons in there as well. This, I would say, is authentic rural Texas. This is Amarillo, and it was super, super cool. So now that I've talked about the restaurant, which again, you'll see a lot more of at the end of the video, let me talk a little more about the food. So 72 ounces, four and a half pounds of a top sirloin cut. So I have had many uh, top sirloin steaks like this. They're very common for food challenges because they are quite a cheap ch cut, like a cheaper cut. Um, still, though, as long as you know what you're expecting, it's going to be, you know, a little bit uh, meatier, less marbled piece of meat, then there's no surprises. And I will say, actually, for all of the 72-ounce steak challenges that I've had, 
which are a sirloin cut. Um, this was probably the best cooked. Um, they're really good at cooking it properly. They cook a lot of these, obviously. Um, of course, you know, with a steak that big, different uh, variations in thickness, you're going to have your edges a little more done than your center. But it was really, really delicious. I love the flavor, and they had a delicious steak spice. I'm a big steak spice person, so if you're in Canada, it was very similar to a Montreal steak spice. Um, and more internationally, it was just a very well, nice, mixed um, spa uh, steak spice. Love the flavor on it. Alright, so we're about three minutes in. It actually tastes really, really good. I love the steak spice on it. Raina's doing really well. I'm just getting some cutting down. Getting all kinds of juices splatter all over me, but it's hella good. So as far as strategy goes, I really did not go in here with any sort of strategy, to be honest. Um, this was actually taking place at 10.30 in the morning. They open at 10, and we were there pretty much right away, um, because we wanted to hit the road uh, right after this. So it, surpri it was surprisingly busy in that restaurant, I will say, for like 10 in the morning, and it was super cool that this steak challenge is available any time of day. So what I did realize about this point, you're gonna see me start to switch over, is using your hands is actually a lot quicker method. Um, so when you're cutting it, it takes up a lot of time, and in fact I feel that I've definitely used up a couple minutes just trying to cut it. Whereas if you pick the steak up and use your teeth to kind of pull it apart, it's basically chewed, and again, especially with it being kind of that top sirloin, not a very marbled um, cut of meat, it just seemed, it, honestly, from a strategic standpoint, that's the way to do it. And the records, that was how the records uh, were set. That's how they were used to eat. Um, and even though I was definitely not chasing a record, um, in fact, we were getting basically half asleep doing this challenge, um, it was definitely an easier way to eat it. And why do you use your, do you use your hands? You have a lot of jaw power. I will say though that once I went to my hands, I realized that it was going down very, very easy. And I was like, you know, I wish I would have known that from the start and maybe gave it a little bit of a quicker go right from the start. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong. Again, we mentioned it's about 8% success rate. There have been over 130,000 attempts or about 130,000 attempts with less than 10,000 people um, successful. But it's only about six pounds of food. And everything else besides the steak is like super easy to eat. So again, at this point I was like, eh, only if I had known. However, I was thoroughly enjoying the flavors. I can't say enough about the steak spice. Again, it was cooked properly. The staff were excellent. Um, so I, again, I really think what should be noted about this restaurant is not just the challenge, but it should be the total experience. It is an absolute experience to go there, to see this being done. Even if you don't do the challenge, I would definitely recommend it. And I'll give you a little bit more information later on, but I will say that this is definitely something I want to come back and do. But I won't tell you why yet. So I'll let you tune in, let's see what happens, and uh, let's get to the rest of the video. It's going well, very juicy, very tasty. I love the seasoning. Rain is killing it. No complaints. Big too earlier. It's very, very hot. As 
say Kuala Potato. Just over 10 minutes to finish the steak. Just go to the rest of the side if you know. So it was at this point that I started to speed up a little bit because I realized again how I wasn't doing bad for time um, and I at this point was wishing I was kind of eating a little faster from the beginning. Not that I thought I would ever get the records, the records are pretty much untouchable at this point, but just from a personal standpoint I think I could do it faster. That's hot. So about 12 minutes, 20 something, 21 seconds. So Raina is doing really well. It's a lot of chewing, but she's killing it. She's well over half done the steak, and then she just got some of the sides left. So she's gonna kill it, chew it on in. There's another win for us. I think that's 156 food challenge, independent food challenge wins for myself. Where'd our guy go? Our judge is MIA. Very tasty though. Do you like salt? It's more seasoned up. Second, maybe quickest mail. I know the fastest mail right now is held by Jeff Esper. Did in about five minutes. So I may be about the second, and I'm totally cool with that. So that's super awesome. I believe there's only been two or three other females that actually beat this. So Reyna will also be one of the first females to beat that. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is the fastest Canadian has ever done it. So, hell right. The way I also approach challenges, and I say this repeatedly, is when I go into a challenge with somebody, whether it's a team or not a team, we're in it together. I don't mind sharing strategy, etc. Of course, it's a little different if you're in a competition, but again, this was not a race. My challenges are rarely races, and it's just to, you know, kind of help everybody out. If I can help them out, I would love to, and if they can help me out, I'd love them to help me out. I want to do 
it again to see how fast I can do it. Damn, next time. <laughs> and this is the last time I'll tune in. I really do want to do it again, and I want to do two next time. So at 18 and a half minutes in, Rena has like less than like a quarter pound of steak left, and then just her potato and her roll. She's killing it. I'm kind of debating ordering another one to be honest. Like it was, it was delicious. I very much enjoyed it. I like salt. I like spice. So I had some of that steak seasoning on it. Woo! Texas, Texas beef. All right. All right. All right. I still have to blur that, but hoping I set the record for the fastest Canadian time. It's uh, it's my name. It's uh, Joel J O E L, and my last name's Hansen H A N S E N. Or you can look up model M O D E L versus food, and I should come up as well. Versus food, yeah. It's kind of like man versus food, but model versus food. I've done some modeling in the past, yeah. Now I eat a little too much. But... Well, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Pardon me. I feel good. Yeah. It was good. It was tasty, so it helps. You know? Thanks so much. All right, Raina is just down to the last couple bites, and she is only just about 23 minutes in. So she's absolutely shy. 23 minutes. About to crush this thing. Give it up, girl. Doing well. Doing well. Off. I wonder if we get dessert. The cake pieces are like that high. Like, not, I actually to try that. like not even lying. I'm gonna show you these cakes if I remember. They were like over a foot high. Only in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. That's So Raina just killed it. Congratulations, Raina. Good job. One of the first females. And again, maybe the fastest Canadian, maybe, but we'll find out. So that, huge thanks over here to Big Texan. It was a lot of fun. Really great food. I very much enjoyed it. I can't wait to come back. Alrighty, Big Texan. Let me get your attention, folks. Joe came all the way from Canada saying he had a big Texan size appetite. Raina came all the way from Canada saying she had a big Texan. From California, sorry. All the way from California saying she also had a big Texan sized appetite. At 12 minutes, 21 seconds, Joel did show that he finished the whole challenge. And at 24 minutes, Raina did the challenge also. We have two champions. Let's give a round of applause. God, this place is so fun. Um, it tastes good. It's just it's hard to take this street. It's hard to gotta eat it. Well, everybody, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry. Of course, happy eating. And I ordered a piece of carrot cake. It's Texas size. That's one piece of carrot cake. Do you see how big that is? This thing is like seven inches high. Everything is bigger in Texas. So again, my cake, but Raina wants to eat some, so I'm nice enough to let her have a bite. I'm just kidding. I'll share. I'm a, I'll, I'll always share. It's 
So yes, apparently this is the best the best carrot cake you'll ever have in your life. Lots of frosting or icing on it. Sorry, I just hear Let's try. This is huge though. What a big piece. How much I could. Okay, that's good. It's like a uh, very fruity, very nutty. Cream cheese icing. Tick tock. Tick tock. Hi guys. So we have this massive carrot cake. I'm gonna take a huge bite. We're taking a huge bite. Oh. You just gotta go for it. Oh my god. Full send. Ready? Yeah. All right. Three cheers. Yes. My five cheers. That was a Texas sized bite. Mm. That's good. A lot of icing. Delicious. Big Jackson. Big carrot cake. Let's see if I can shove this all in my mouth. Let's make these. Ready? Wait, 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 wait. Raina's can do a TikTok. Create me a TikTok, Raina. I don't want no filter. Get rid of that. There you go. We're raw. Shove that all in your mouth. I'm going to shove this in my mouth. Because I can fit more in my mouth than Raina. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And we got much love coming from all over Texas. Here we got Angel. Angel actually just saw us do the challenge and she's about to try it herself. So congratulations. Thank you. I think you're gonna kill it. I know she will. She's a Texan, that means she can eat big. Texas has appetite, right? So. Yes, Texas has appetite. So. More, more like Tex-Mex appetite. Hey, I like it. I actually love Mexico. Good you. choice, good choice. Well, that, good luck, Angel. I know you're going to kill it, and uh, thank you so much. Thank you. It was woo. nice to meet you, too. An absolute pleasure. Let's go, Angel. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. How big that kick is. And this is definitely one of the coolest restaurants I saw down here in Texas. So look at all this stuff. We got just we got this big chair. It says free 72 ounce steak. We got all this stuff out here, which is like old time barrels and stuff. And they're misting us as we speak. It's pretty cool. If I come over her, I got some more cool stuff. We got this big thing. I got myself a big old boot. I got myself an old car. I got myself multiple stages. I'm getting missed it with water as we speak. And all this other really cool stuff. This is the big Texan. This is the wild, wild west. This is amazing. As 
you can see, there are steers and deer and dead animals everywhere. Well, that's it. It's like, it's like, it's like the Wild West. Yeah. Like if you were a cowboy, this. In Amarillo, which is in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So basically, if you don't understand this. You gotta think about this. So there's like Dallas and Austin and Houston if you look on a map. Okay? Then you gotta drive six to they can be from Dallas the closest one. Six hours in the middle of absolute nowhere over here, driving through literal just fields of nothing and windmills and blah 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 to get out to Amarillo, which apparently means yellow. Amarillo. In Spanish. Amarillo. That's right, right? Yep. So Amarillo. Exactly. So this steak in yellow just it's it became a truck stop i'll tell you the history about it later all right so now to give you the history of the big texan steak challenge so it definitely is quite a history it's very interesting again this is what i was told this is what i heard and i'm just basically relaying it to you so as we mentioned amarillo is kind of like a trucker town or like a truck stop town generally where you'd be traveling either from you know the east whether it be a large city like dallas austin maybe further east like louisiana heading you know west to what would be new mexico arizona or maybe you're heading west to east so you're coming from arizona new mexico etc traveling through texas so to make a long story short there there once was a group of truckers and they all wanted to make a bet and see who could eat the most so they all laid down their money and set off on their own kind of eating competition now this was a number of years ago i personally don't think you know eating contests and food challenges were a thing um, or at least very popular back then. So the individual who won and ate the most ended up eating 72 ounces of steak, one dinner roll, one side salad, three cocktail shrimp, and a baked potato. See where that came from? So the items in the Big Texas Steak Challenge are actually verbatim of what this gentleman was rumored to eat. So that's kind of where they based it off of. Out of a group of truckers, the individual who ate the most ate what was equivalent to the Big Texan Steak Challenge today, and that was the birth of the food challenge. So they decided whoever could eat more than them or that you know group of people, that individual, you know, gets the steak for free. And hence we have the Big Texan Steak Challenge. So there we go, truckers, the originators of food challenges. I mean, drive all day, eat a big meal, continue driving. So that everybody, hope you enjoyed the little story and uh, yeah interesting and fun fact but a story behind that uh, but a history behind that